Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video uh, we're going to be looking at creating an Ajax progress bar with file upload. So basically um, we're going to be creating this right here. So we have a HTML form um, and it's going to be submitted through Ajax and when I choose a file, for example just this thumbnail right here, I can open it then press upload and we get this uh, this nice animated progress bar. So we're going to be creating this in this video. Okay, so um, let's go over to this blank HTML file right here and get started. Okay, so um, you will need some sort of server-side language to actually, um, of course, receive the uploaded file. So I'm using PHP. Um, I'll just show you my upload script. So inside my text editor, I've got this index HTML file and of course also the upload.php file. So um, I'm going to be um, sending the file to this upload.php file. And this is a very basic example of how to actually um, receive a file with PHP and then of course move it to a separate directory. So basically, um, once a file gets submitted to um, this upload script, it's going to um, uh, just uh, choose a upload path. So it's going to basically um, upload it to a directory called uploads, which is right here and um, yeah, just move it to that. So that is the basic PHP upload script. I assume you're gonna have your own sort of script, but um, this is just for demonstration. Okay, cool. So back inside the HTML, we can begin by actually just creating the HTML structure as well as the CSS. Okay, so um, below the H1 tag, let's just begin by creating an HTML form. So we can say form, and this will be submitted through Ajax, so we don't actually need to provide things like action and the ink type. So I can just get rid of the action, and I can instead give it a class of form, and give it an ID of upload form. So this class of form here, just to apply some of my own basic CSS styles to the form, just for visual effects, um, it is not required to include this class here. Okay, so inside the form, we can then create the input type of file and give it a name and ID of IMP file. So of course this name IMP file is going to match what's inside PHP IMP file right there. Alright cool. So back inside here I'm just going to add a line break and create the submit button. So input submit and give it a value of upload. Okay. I'll also give it a class a button once again just for some visual styling. Okay, cool. So now I can save this and refresh the page and we get this right here. Alright, um, if you want to see my video on creating your own custom file upload button, I'll leave it in the comment section. Okay, so um, now to create the progress bar, um, let's go back inside here and create a div below the form. Uh, this will have a class of progress bar and an ID of progress bar. All right. Um, we can also give it a fill. So basically, uh, this will be the container for the progress bar and the fill is gonna be what actually fills up the progress bar, if that makes sense. Um, so we can uh, give this div a class of progress bar fill. And inside here, uh, create a new span and this will be the actual percentage. All right. So um, I'll just uh, quickly show you the previous example. I'll just save this and um, go back inside the working demo. Um, we have here the progress bar text and then this is going to be the fill. So the actual blue bar and of course the container is right there. Okay, so back inside here, let's apply some CSS to make this look a bit nicer. So up in the CSS, let's target the progress bar class. Um, let's give it a height of 35, a width of 250. Okay, so of course, um, style this to your own needs. I'll give it a border of 2px, solid and a dark blue. Okay, um, now for the actual progress bar fill, I can say progress bar fill. Um, give it a height of 100%. So it's going to take up the entire uh, horizontal, sorry, entire vertical space of this container. Let's um, for now give a width of 25% so we can see what's actually happening. Okay, and give it a background of light blue and a display of flex. The reason for this is to basically uh, vertically align the text of the percentage. 
so we can say align items to be center for that and a font weight of bold which will cascade down to the actual text and also a transition of width so basically to create the animation of um, the progress bar filling up we're going to change the width property and we're going to make this uh, transition okay and finally for the progress bar text so progress bar text give it a margin left of 10 px and you know what I should probably move this font weight just down to the text just you know to make it a bit more solid and more meaningful okay so now I can save this and refresh the browser and we get this result right here so we can see here that obviously we have the progress bar text and also we have the fill so the fill is currently at 25 percent so if I was to go inside here and change the fill to be for example 80 percent we can see that the, um, the transition or such animation has occurred. So this will be how we're going to display the progress to the end user. Okay, so um, we're going to use JavaScript to basically edit the, um, the progress text and also the width of the progress bar field. Alright, so um, let's just uh, reset and uh, set the width of this to be 0% when the page loads up. So I can now save this and refresh, and of course we get this result right here. Cool, so now onto the JavaScript. Now this code is gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, it's not too difficult to understand. So let's go inside the, um, the JavaScript and begin by getting a reference to all of the useful HTML elements. So let's make a new constant for each one of these. We can call the first one upload form equal to document.getElementById. And we're gonna pass inside here upload form, all right? We can do the same thing for the INP file. So we can just copy and paste INP file inside here. And for the progress bar, um, we, we want the progress bar fill and also the progress bar text to actually modify them. So let's get um, those two elements right here. So we can say uh, progress bar fill is equal to uh, document.query selector. So we're going to uh, look out for the progress bar ID. So this will be the parent of the fill. And then we're going to get um, the first occurrence of a progress bar fill. All right, so now basically we are selecting um, the first class with progress bar fill, which will be, of course, this one right here. And a similar thing for the, um, for the text, um, but uh, uh, we're going to use the progress bar fill uh, as the uh, the um, the query selector element. So now we can just pass inside here. We're going to select um, the first progress bar text, which is inside the progress bar fill, which is of course uh, this one right here. And of course, just change this to progress bar text. So um, that is our four elements which have been selected within JavaScript. We can now use them. So. Um, Basically, we are going to override the event listener um, in a way for the HTML form. So basically, when it gets submitted, we're going to do some JavaScript. So down here, we're going to target the upload form and we're going to say add event listener. So when the form gets submitted, we're going to run a function. Let's call this function upload file. Okay, so now let's create this function. All right, so down here, new function, call this one upload file, upload file, and this is, this is going to take in the event object for this submit, because inside here, we're going to say e.prevent default. Now this means we're going to prevent the default behavior, um, which may be the browser trying to submit the form. So we're going to say, okay, um, we don't want the web browser to submit the form. We're going to handle it ourselves using um, JavaScript. Okay, so down here, we can now use some Ajax. So first, let's create a new instance of an XML HTTP request. So we can say const xhr equal to a new XML HTTP request. Okay, um, down here, we can now open the request. So we can say xhr.open. And we're going to be uh, creating here a post request. So similar to um, setting the values on the input form itself. So we're going to say post, and then we're going to post to the upload script upload.php. 
Okay, so now this is the part where we're actually going to do some progress stuff. So down here, uh, we're basically just going to say uh, xhr dot upload dot add event listener. So this upload property um, contains a bunch of useful things um, relative to checking the progress of an upload. So we're going to add an event listener to um, to this property. Um, and basically, it's going to be the progress event. So we're going to say here, add event listener, and then put progress inside there. So um, this progress event fires off every so often during the upload process. And at each one of those occurrences, we can check the, um, the percentage, and then of course use it with the progress bar. All right, so inside here, we're going to accept the E event object. So this is very important to actually uh, making this work. So for now, I'm simply going to console.log the E event object so we can see what we're actually working with. Okay, and now down here, we're going to um, set the request header for the request to be multi part slash form data. So we can say xhr.set request header, and we can just say content type to be uh, multi part multi part slash form data. So once again, um, basically recreating uh, some of the attributes you would pass into the actual form inside JavaScript. Okay, and now we can finally say xhr.send. So we're going to make the request and we're going to submit the file. So to do this, we're going to use the form data object. So we're, we're going to say send and then inside here we're going to say new form data and pass in here upload form. So basically, um, this form data object is going to use the upload form itself, which will be this right here, and basically submit the file automatically for us. Okay, so now I can save this and refresh the browser and we can see what's actually happening. All right, so refresh. Now you may want to go inside your developer console or developer tools and go to the network tab. Um, it might be similar in Firefox and just go to the network section and um, uh, add some uh, manual throttling. So here I can say I want to use this on a slow or a fast 3G connection. That way the file does not upload instantly and you can actually see some progress. So now this will be a bit slower. I can actually see the percentage go up. All right, cool. So now I'm going to choose a file here. I'm going to choose the same thumbnail from before and open this. And now check the console because um, the event here, the progress event, is going to fire off every so often while it's being uploaded. Okay, so we should see a bunch of console logs in the console. So I can just go inside here and press upload and we get here all of the progress events coming through in the console. And finally it actually stops down here. So we had about I think 15 or 20 progress events which have popped up during the upload. So now for each one of these we're going to update the progress bar as we go along. So we can see here we have access to um, a loaded property and also we have access to a total property. So these two things right here, we're going to divide and then find the percentage. All right, so um, let's go back inside the event listener function. Okay, and we're going to do this right here. We're going to first calculate the percentage. So right now we've only got access to um, the the uh, loaded and the total property. We don't have an actual percentage. So let's make that using these two properties. So we're going to say inside here uh, const percent is equal to now we uh, we have to check if the length of the um, sorry uh, check if the if the length property is actually um, uh, computable so uh, the um, sorry uh, if the um, if the response contains um, a good content length sorry so basically what happens is when you submit the um, uh, submit the request we have here a response header um, which contains uh, the length of the uh, of the uh, file, and um, basically sometimes using JavaScript, um, the length is not computable, so you can't actually calculate the percentage using um, uh, this method. So want to make sure that the length is actually computable before we try to calculate the percentage. So um, back inside here, we can do this using the length computable property. Okay, so uh, back inside the code. Let's say percent is equal to now if I can compute the length, 
then we're going to compute it. So we're going to say e um, dot loaded divided by e dot total. Okay, and then multiply that by 100. So basically, we are um, dividing the loaded by the total and then multiplying that by 100 only if we actually can um, using the length of the response. Okay, and if that is not the case, so if we cannot, um, you know, if the if the length is not computable, then we're going to say a default value of zero. All right, cool. So um, let's go down here now and basically use this percentage inside um, the progress bar field and the progress bar text. So we can say progress bar fill dot style dot width is equal to percent dot two fixed at two decimal places. So um, when this uh, value gets calculated, you're going to get about 10 decimal places. So I'm just saying here, let's make it two only and then add or append the percent sign to the end of that string. Okay, and to the same thing, or very similar thing, to the progress bar text. Okay, so progress bar text dot text content is equal to, once again, um, the same thing. So we're changing the text content of the progress bar text and also the CSS style of width um, for the progress bar fill. So I can now save this and refresh the browser and choose this file once again, choose the thumb.jpg open it up, press upload, and we get the animated or the nice looking um, progress bar. Okay, now, um, of course, if I was to try and upload a bigger file, such as this entire MP4 file, upload this, and we can see it takes a little longer. You know what, it didn't actually work. Let's press the upload button, and we can see now it takes obviously a lot longer to upload the, the whole movie file. All right, and that right there is how you can create an Ajax progress bar with file uploads in JavaScript. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.